a quick disclaimer this video is only for educational purposes hey what's up guys this is byfrost here today i'll be showing you how to set up and play the skyline nintendo switch emulator on your android devices as you all know skyline is an open source switch emulator for android and since the last year its compatibility list has increased by a lot which means more and more triple a nintendo switch games can be emulated so let's start with the minimum requirements to run this emulator on your android phone you'll need android 10 or above also, 4 to 6 GB of RAM if you want to emulate low end Nintendo Switch titles like Sonic Mania. But if you want to try out some high end AAA titles like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you will definitely need 6 to 8 GB of RAM. Depending on your RAM or the game which you are emulating, the Skyline emulator may face many problems such as crashing issues texture issues and the developers of Skyline emulator recommend you to have minimum Snapdragon 855 processor or above to run the emulator but I have confirmed by testing myself that this emulator works even on Snapdragon 660 processor and if you have Mali GPU so processors like MediaTek or Exynos then Skyline emulator will surely have more problems currently this emulator is only recommended to be tried on an Android device with Snapdragon processor so that concludes the minimum requirements, let's start with the tutorial. So let's get started. This right here is the device which I'll be using for today's video. It is capable of emulating AAA Nintendo Switch games with decent FPS. Snapdragon 888 processor 8GB of RAM. First of all, this right here is the official website of Skyline Emulator. As you know, Skyline is an open source Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. You can go on their official website and just go ahead and click on Get Skyline. And it will redirect you to the latest FTX1 branch builds of Skyline Emulator. These builds can also be viewed on GitHub to review the changes in source code but we'll just go ahead and go back and click on this button right here and uh, get the skyline emulators latest ftx1 branch build click on open afterwards you'll get this pop-up just go ahead and click on install or update if you have already installed skyline emulator once that has been done just go ahead and click on done there is also a different Skyline emulator build which is known as Skyline Edge which you can get if you support the developers on Patreon with a $5 subscription. But we'll be using the normal open source version of Skyline emulator for today. Now let's move on towards the compatibility list of Skyline emulator. On this page of Skyline games list by clicking on the label button here and selecting status in game or status playable you can check out the games which are able to boot, go in game or playable in Skyline emulator. For example Persona 4 golden goes in game this can be used to find out if the game which you want to try out on skyline emulator is playable or not so i definitely recommend you guys check out the compatibility list of the emulator now let's move on towards the main steps to set up skyline emulator you'll need to dump your nintendo switch games as well as key files so you can create a folder just like i have created a games folder where i have dumped my nintendo switch game roms you can see i have loaded quite a lot of pokemon games on my android device you will also need product keys and title keys you have to dump these files from your nintendo switch legally afterwards the games itself it can either be in .nsp file format or xei after you have dumped your nintendo switch games now you can just go ahead and open the skyline emulator when you open it for the first time it will ask you to select folder where you have dumped your nintendo switch game files as well as keys so just go ahead and click on use this folder wherever you store your nintendo switch games click on allow and afterwards it will take some time to load you will see all your games being shown on the main ui of skyline emulator we are almost done with this setup now let's go to settings and i'll quickly show you guys all the settings which you need to enable or disable click on show performance statistic to see the amount of fps that you are getting while emulating a game if your device has a snapdragon processor you can also add custom gpu drivers for example turnip driver to get better performance in skyline emulator so i'll just go ahead and click on install and locate the turnip driver zip file on your android device you can get these custom drivers on the official discord server of skyline emulator once you have installed the custom driver you can go back now Make sure to enable dock mode as Skyline is still experimental you can test out games by enabling dock mode if they do not work then you can disable dock mode and check if the game actually runs or not. You can also change your username to whatever you like I'll keep it as default. You can add a profile picture as well. Let's scroll down. There is an option known as disable frame throttling which I do not recommend you guys enable because if you enable this option your FPS will exceed over 30 but it will cause your games to crash a lot. 
Afterwards, aspect ratio, I recommend you keep it at stretch to fit. Afterwards, here are some interesting settings. Executor slot count scale, I recommend you keep it at 6. Executor flush threshold, I recommend you guys keep it at default. I do not recommend you guys to enable the use direct memory import option because this option only works on proprietary Arduino drivers. Be sure to enable force maximum GPU clocks if you have a good device. Enabling this option will make sure that GPU is running at its maximum clock speed but it may cause some battery issues and overheating. Afterwards, enable fast GPU readback, enable fast readback writes. But if you have a low-end device, I recommend you guys to tick mark this option and disable audio output. So those are the best settings. You can also configure on-screen controls by going into configure controller hashtag one and click on edit on-screen controls. So you can set the controls according to your liking. And that's about it guys. These were the best settings for Skyline emulator. Now the next step is to start playing your favorite Nintendo Switch games on Skyline. But be sure to note most of these AAA games will have graphics issues. Let's start with Pokemon Legends Arceus and I'll show you guys that this game actually goes in game, is playable but it has some freezing issues which I think will be fixed in future. And as you guys can see the game has started quickly. So yep guys Skyline Emulator is now able to run lot of AAA games. It's unstable but still such a huge progress is really noteworthy. And if you guys found this video helpful be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications because I bring similar videos on my channel. At the top left corner of your screen you'll be able to see the amount of FPS that you are getting. Well that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Goodbye.